Have you always wanted to know how to become a successful comedian in New York? Well, stop watching because this vlog is pretty much the opposite. I'm Morten Andersen, I'm a Swedish comedian trying to make it in New York City. But believe me, it's way harder than I thought. This is my vlog, no filter. So my roommates had an after party after I went to sleep, apparently. So I'm cleaning up the whole kitchen here now. I'm almost done and there's nothing I like more than being hung over and clean up after other people. So the most important thing in the kitchen, yeah, is to uh, shop things, yeah? So that's what I do. Uh, I'm shopping these ones, lovely. Yeah, smells so fresh here. Yeah? Really fresh. So what I'm going to do now is to do an omelette, yeah? So here we go. Hopefully it tastes better than it looks because if it tastes as it looks, it's gonna taste like <laughs> Voila. Not really. It seems I'm not the only comedian trying to make it here in New York and having a hard time. It seems Mr. Bean has given up on his dream as well and is now working as a cop. All units, all units. Mr. Bean, are you there? This doesn't look too promising. I'm the only guy in the bar right now. Like, there's literally no one here. No other comics, no bar staff, no, no audiences, no nothing. With the 25 minutes to go to the gig, so let's just hope they don't cancel this one as well because that would be a bit depressing, actually. I want to perform. He just went on and on, like, oh, if you want to make it as a comic in New York, you, you perform 11 nights, no, 11 times a night. Simultaneously, <laughs> and you perform for 50 years, and then maybe, maybe, if another comedian dies, you will get five dollars before tax performing in a toilet in Idaho. <laughs> Jesus, Woo. yeah, thank you. Yeah, I felt more relaxed on stage, which was good. Uh, some of the jokes worked, some did not, like always. Um, bit surprising though I really thought I've tried one of the jokes on some friends of mine and they're all laughing but it doesn't work on stage it's the first time I tried it now so I mean I don't know it might work but I go up on stage and I say sorry uh, Barbie couldn't make it obviously referring to that I look a bit like a Ken doll uh, if you remember Barbie but that didn't work today um, but some stuff worked so I'm, I'm happy I'm happy with this gig when I was walking up on stage, I felt like it doesn't matter. It's just my ego that get hurt if no one laughs. And just no one else was doing well, so I felt, you know, in a, in a, like in a safe environment, which made me relax a lot more than before. And um, no, a good experience. Another day, and uh, today I'm really looking forward to to working again because. I'm meeting up with an uh, American comedian called Clayton Fletcher, who's been working in New York for many, many years on the circuit. And we're having a writing session, like a private uh, course, where I get to ask all the stuff that's going on in my head and also look at the jokes. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, so time to get up. And I'm sitting here with my friend, uh, Clayton Fletcher, who's a brilliant New York comedian and he's been kind enough to sort of be my mentor here today uh, in kind of making me understand the New York comedy scene a little better and also hopefully look at some of my jokes and see what's good and not. But I, want, I thought it'd be cool to actually introduce my friend because he's... Here he is! Hey! Yeah. <laughs> Hi everybody! So thank you for, yes, my for, pleasure. for being here. Um, but t tell me, you, you do courses normally as well, so yeah. mm -hmm. and, and where can people find you? Yeah, so uh, I have my website, ClaytonFletcher.com, mm -hmm. so if anyone's looking for some help getting started, especially in New York, but really anywhere, not just with Skype, we can do classes anywhere in the world, um, yes, yeah, so they can reach out to me that way. Excellent. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, what is the, the uh, 
if you would sum up kind of like your, your first and best advice to someone trying to break into New York comedy scene, what would be? Yeah, well, I think breaking into New York comedy scene, you have to realize uh, when you come here, you're starting over. So you might have uh, a lot of experience in your country or if you're from the U.S. but you're not from New York. Nobody cares if you did 20 years of comedy in Texas. Or Sweden. Or Sweden or anywhere. Definitely not Sweden. Yeah, when you come here, it's like you know, everybody's at the bottom. Yeah. And I think for some people who come here, they feel like, uh, you know, I had a lot of success where I was before. I am somebody. And, uh, yeah, on, where, I am somebody. Where's the love? Right? Yeah, where's the love? And we don't show any love because no. if you haven't done it here, we feel like, in a sense, it's like almost like you haven't done it at all. Uh -huh. Because doing comedy in New York, as you've been learning, I'm sure, yeah. is not the same as doing comedy somewhere else. No, it's, right? it's nowhere near it. Yeah, it's a whole different world here. It's, it's a totally different rhythm amongst a lot of things, of course, mm -hmm. in that you take away all the words that is not needed, and oh. it's like, it's so tight, and that's oh. also kind of, I don't know. Yeah. But we got a lot to talk about, um, so, um, yeah, well, I don't know if we're gonna do... Uh, we'll say bye for now, and then we're gonna start uh, working. Okay. So, okay. Yeah, let's do All it. Right. Excellent. I feel better now. My self-confidence is back after meeting Clayton because he was actually laughing a lot at several jokes. So, I just think actually I've been a bit unlucky and uh, that the scene is what it is. It doesn't mean that my jokes are bad. On the contrary, I think they're actually better than I think. So I'm gonna go on stage again with that new self-confidence. It feels good. No. Uh -huh. No. So uh, no spot. You recognize this guy? <laughs> yeah. Hey, listen, if you're gonna be in the area 10 o'clock yeah. on St. Mark's, uh -huh. the V spot. Oh, okay, yeah, I've done that they one. Got, oh, the you did? Alex Cabareno? Okay. Alex, yeah, yeah. He's having a show tonight. All right, I might stop by there. Yeah, I'm gonna stop by myself. All right, cool. Excellent. See you later, all bro. All right, baby. Bye. So maybe there is an option after all. Uh, this one I couldn't do because it was packed with comedians and you needed to send them an email before, um, which I should have known because I played it before, but I didn't. So I didn't get on the bill. Uh, they already had 20 or 25 comics on. Um, but maybe I'll follow up on my friend's advice and do the uh, V-spot tonight at 10. I've decided to go home. I need to rest a little bit. These first couple of weeks has been quite crazy when it comes to staying up late, getting up early in the morning, working with this vlog, and more than anything, of course, working with writing the jokes, rehearsing the jokes. So it's almost 24-7. So I think I actually need just a quiet night. Yeah.